Download the file from my GitHub repository. Make sure the browser won't discard the file. When running the file, click on Run Anyway. Then start Destiny 2 up. Make sure you're inside orbit. Now you can click on the big button which says Enable Solo Play. Go ahead and search for a strike now. You'll be matched into one alone. When you want to turn Solo Play off, click on the big button which now says Disable Solo Play. You can download Destiny 2 Solo Enable from my GitHub. Um, a link to that will be in the description. Uh, but if you wish to find it yourself, just go into github.com slash life. From there you can either find it in popular repositories, Destiny 2 Solo Enable, or find the overview itself. Inside the repository, in the right hand side where it says releases, you can click on this one. There, just click on the Destiny 2 Solo Enable EXE file. You will get this error, which says Destiny 2 Solo Enable.exe was blocked because it could harm your device. Click on the three dots and click keep. And, well, because I'm using Edge, it throws this box up. Just click keep anyway. Then it downloads. The reason for this is, as I also mentioned in the uh, in the FAQ, it's because it's not currently signed. Um, I don't have a code signing certificate, nor do I have the know-how of how to actually do that. So it's just not signed right now. When it's done downloading, you will just get the application itself. It's a simple exe file. This you can just double click on. And you will get this error. Reason for this one is exactly the same as the browser one. Because it's currently not signed, so it says, hey, unknown publisher. You just click run anyway. And then it asks for admin privileges. After you give the program admin privileges, uh, it will start up. You can also see uh, I've included this text. This program makes use of the Windows firewall. That is the reason why it needs administrator privileges and why there is no re uh, risk for eventual bans. It does not interact with the game anyway at all. It only sets up a Windows firewall rule. To use the program, make sure you're inside orbit. You need to be in orbit for this to work. It does not work if you are at a destination itself. So just be at orbit. And then what you need to do is find the, find the file you downloaded and run it. It will ask for admin privileges. Um, when you have it open, you just need to click on the big button, which says Enable Solo Play. You can see the status change to Enable. All right. You will also get the, uh, the message Steam servers are down. As a result, some in-game systems will not be functional, blah, 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 blah. That is because we blocked the game's access to the Steam servers. This enables us to search for strikes and be the only person inside the strike. There is one downside, which is search time will be longer. Um, I tested it earlier and it was roughly 20 seconds in order to find a match with the program turned off and about 60 seconds ish to find a find a match with the program turned on and looks like we found a match or well yeah a match let's just let's just call it that we found a match so we'll fly into the strike let's just click you just can see not a single person inside our fire team all right
then we land on the destination. And we are all alone. There is not a single person. If, however, we were to disable the program again, it should not take a long uh, until we actually have some people who joins us. Yep, there we go. Instantly. Oh, well, almost instantly. Two people joined us. Also, I designed it to be this small, just to make sure you can, if you have a secondary screen, you can always just place it somewhere and then quickly enable and disable it if you need it. God, please stop. If you have any questions, you're free to just leave them down in the comment section. I will try my best to respond as soon as possible. But yeah, with that said, uh, that's it. Take care.